Uh, once upon a time, he was able to like beat all the powers, but then Jen was like, mm, I don't know about that. And you know, now I, it's just been like extra close, but it has always been kind of just edged in uh, Jen's favor. I feel like out of all of the, the top robs, like, Dill squeaks himself into that list because of how good he is at playing the bad matchups for Rob. And this is a matchup where Palutena is just able to brutalize Rob in every sense of the way. Like, we already highlighted this earlier, but Rob on the ledge is not a happy robot. Uh, Chen in control of the ledge, that's a happy Chen. Yeah. There's not a lot of playtime where Dill is going to be in controls. But when he does get those, uh, uh, those opportunities, he makes good use of it. Yeah, you barely see Jen smile, but whenever he has control of the ledge, there's always a big grin on him. <laughs> oh, nice job of using the auto reticle to like burn the fuel. I feel like against any other ROM that would be like a major detractor, but Dill is usually like very good with controlling how well he can move. His fuel efficiency is on par with the Tesla. Elon will be proud. <laughs> Elon Tusk. <laughs> All right, dash attack to push him off. <laughs> Might be really difficult to see Rob getting out of uh, Palutena's zone of control without paying the price. Oh my! What, what do you do there? Yeah, sometimes you gotta just lose the stock. I mean, in that situation, not even Dill was able to protect that. Red Sparks, big no-no. But also, hunting down that team is. How do you expect that? That's just really aggressive, too, and we haven't seen that type of aggression from Jen so far in the set. Mind you, it's early on, and that might be, like, how Jen wants to press this. But I think I just watched all the life escape his eyes as he rapid jabbed that gyro. Yeah, he definitely wanted to pick it up, and he's like, this is not the option. Yeah, I remember, as I was discussing before in the early set, Rob's get-up attack one of the worst in the game. But name a better combo than Rob and his gyro. I'll wait. He got me. Guys, definitely celebrating Quantum. <laughs> and hot. Oh my. I like, I like a little bit of breathing room, gyro in hand. Like, Dill managed to get himself back in the running here. Although he's still taking a lot of damage, I feel like he doesn't have to really respect. Like, Jen is just trying to get these breakout options on him, where he could just have been patiently waiting. But, Dill is the one who's in the lead. Before it ties up stock wise. Yeah, you're kind of cursed. But Dill doesn't actually. Sick. He doesn't actually seem that frustrated from that stock loss. He kind of, like, grinned, saying, yeah, I, I kind of deserve that. He can only feel himself, like, so much before everyone's got to snap back to reality. All right, using the auto run to zone him out. Back throw. Oh, tried to catch him immediately. It's such good gyro placement. So I, I want to take a moment just to appreciate the item play here from Bill. Like, I keep on bringing up the gyro, but this is a really specific piece that is just a joy to watch. He's placing the gyro right on that that little gray area right the before lip. the lip of the ledge. Okay, it's okay. like right where the, the the green meets the gray. Yeah, and that, that's his own lip. And didn't know. he's putting it there to deny any safe space for Jen to land from the exact point of the ledge to the platform. Yeah, yo, Jen's bringing his back. Why are you encouraging, Joe? That tends to happen. I know, but it's like he's just so consistent oh. with that placing. And it's been putting in so much work for him. Like, look at that! Didn't even land with explosive flame safely. Okay. Here we go. There are so many layers of I know that you know that I know that you yeah. know in that interaction. So it was like Jen knew that Dill wanted him to come down and Jill, Dill knew Jen wanted to come down, but he's like, yo, I'm just gonna get left back for free now and just go past with an aggressive option, but Jen knew. Like, Dill wanted to bait in that, that down air so badly. Yeah, he's like, yo, just do it. The second you dash forward, I'm up airing you. 
And Jen's like, nah, I know. He's like, come on, do it. I know you want to step on this robot. And then he did it. Jen was a good boy, didn't take the boat. And jump from ledge went up there. An option we don't see much from No, yeah, that's like that's big like jump call out energy. Like the like the Yomi levels between these two guys has to be like measurable on the Richter scale. Like there's just so much power. These guys know how well they want to play against each other. Because we started the set talking about this, about how well Jill plays against Pop. Yeah. Like, and how, we definitely said how even the sets and how competitive the sets will be. And you saw it there, which Jen at checking it out, as you also stated. Like, it requires that level of player knowledge to play beyond the character matchup, I feel. And to a degree, I feel like that's also why Dill is able to keep it so competitive. Like, he knows the faults of this character. He knows how good Palutena is. It's a matter of, like, finding the ways to weasel around him. I, I like the beer race right there. Yeah. And it's crazy how Dill does the item drop fairly good with Rob, but now everybody can just do it. You have, like... After they just lost, like, a uh, jewel count, like, thing, <laughs> it's like, yo, let me Z drop items in Ariel. I love it. The, the, the renaissance of Smash. Yeah. Suddenly, I just know everybody can do it. I'm like, when did you learn this? I watched a jewel video. A little, a little deal. Ooh. Oh! A little two frames. A little that bit down of, air is despicable. A little bit of Mamba in my life. <laughs> Oh, that was so smart, but the explosive point still being active, pushing him off, and now he's Dill's in disadvantage. Yo, I think Jen wanted to go for the warp cancel at the ledge and then follow up with something in the air to clean up the stock. It would have been beautiful to watch, but at least Jen isn't taking too much damage from this as back throw manages to then it's kill. Yo, Jen's reaction is kind of sick. Oh yeah, he's always had amazing reactions, regardless of whatever character he's piloting. You can even see that in Shades of his Fox and his Terry here in Ultimate. They're like, yeah, they may not be as up to snuff as his Palutena is yet, but like lightning fast reactions and having really good decision making skills help alleviate that and help to really showcase how good his Palut is. Okay. Now Jen's kind of giving him a bit much respect in the neutral, trying to just find his way in. Oh. Thought he was gonna get hit a different angle, and that's why he went for that there. The one thing I'm very surprised that Dill is allowing to happen so often in this set is that he's giving a lot of free space for Jen to land. And I know Palutena has options for landing on people, at least more so than most of the past. But there's been a lot of instances where I feel like Dill can at least threaten to run under new position and threaten to Yeah, he's, uh, he got the, it with the down smash, but if he got that bear, man, hang man, if he got that bear. Oh, it does this. Hit him with that yeet smash. It's that good good at all. Alright, the top once again coming in. Enact the buddy system. Hit him with the lasers in the leg. I don't know if it's just the timing or like... If Jen really just don't want to shield right now, but he's getting called out so hard with all these yeah, I, I don't, I don't think he wants to shield, man. You see, you see what happens when he shields? Nah. He, he gets down tilted. Oh, Lord. And 106. So much damage. That called out that jump breathe. Knew that he didn't want to air dodge there in that situation. And that's the second time now we've seen Jet manage to capitalize on getting a jump breathe out of the pressure. And now look at this damage he's racked up. Or not. The thing is, yeah, that jump is exhausted at some point. Yeah. A great call out from Dell. Manages to get us to the 1 1 split. Hmm? Alright, sip of the water.
just like to inform the audience that Doremagon just managed to beat Player 4. Don't lie one, to people. One round of rock, paper, scissors. Don't lie to people. I just won that. <laughs> I can confirm the results that what the heck? Hangman is, in fact, reporting. You guys are this conspiracy again? What the heck? <laughs> he just mics up. Listen, man, when your win record, when your global win record with Smashers is like ten thousand to four, I definitely won that though. You gotta learn don't, what it adds to that four. Don't lie to people. I destroyed them. I bopped them. Easy peasy. <laughs> About to start rock paper people in in between sets. That's awful. Don't do that. Never do that. I fall in there. Alright. We're, we're coming right back into it for game three. three and town is the pick. Alright. So I'm very curious to see how Dill denies space for uh, for this stage, just because there's so much more active space for the top to sit on. So, like, it's equal parts decision making, but also like you can get punished hard if he doesn't have his top on hand. This resource management, I feel, is going to be a bigger part of Dill's game plan than just trying to keep the damage up or trying to control where Jen is. Oh, man. Dill's definitely in control. I'm actually really surprised that Jen opted for a stage with so much pace to give Rob. Because it felt like he kind of just got bodied from, like, the projectile game and giving... Um, Dill, time to run back and use his gyro. But then again, this stage does have closer side blast zones. And that's how Jen's been mainly killing. Yeah, I feel like this is a fine stage choice. It's just like... There's gonna be levels to the counterplay, and I hope to see Dill see it through. But at the same time... Jen playing into his counterplay is working out really well just because a lot of his ledge trapping, I feel, is just further strengthened by the layout of the stage. All three of the layouts, my you. This particular one, I feel like it makes it easier for him to kill. The FD version, easier to trap those landings, and we saw how brutal that was in game two for Dill. And then the, uh, the town layout, which we're traveling to now, going to lead to a lot of escape options for Jen. But I feel like a lot of those can get cut off by the lasers, so... We'll see. Alright, another down tilt. Down tilt jab. I think the weird shape of Rob's head is finally like pumped up less than because not once have we seen Jen successfully punish a uh, option with back air at the ledge. I think it's just because for once Rob is too leap. Like I'm finally glad Mamo built him like that, man. It's like hair shaped. I really don't know how to describe this robot make body. Do I say body type? Would it be robot make and model? Uh, Is that species uh, Whoa. You can't shame body shame Rob like that. Can I? Do gonna, Robs have rights? Someone's going to be mad. We joke around that Rob mates don't have rights, but do Robs themselves have rights? Neither. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Good discussion. <laughs> Bringing our action back into the match, and it's looking pretty even right now. Dill managing to actually suppress a lot of landing options out of Jen, but a way we're landing into explosive flames says otherwise for the pacing of this match, as Jen is on route to uh, find train fighting Mr. E. That top is barely hitting. That was the slowest top punish I've seen in it. Alright, using a lot more fairs in neutral to just trying to use the top as a stopgap. Basically saying, I'm not going past this top, and I'm just going to keep fairing you from here. I just, again, Jen's reaction. Yeah, I would, if his reactions were a little bit, just a tiny bit worse, the, the like, dash to get him into this position would have landed him into the top, and Dill might have even been able to secure the match from that. But it's Jen who managed to take it 2-1 with Palutai. Where does Jen think he's going? Oh, yeah, he got sitting himself back down. He's got to fight Mystery now. And then, of course, the winner of that goes on to fight Stock Taker. A very strange top four, to be sure, but a welcome one. Yeah, 